Two interstellar visitors are racing toward our sun right now, and their paths are about to intersect in the most extraordinary cosmic encounter we've witnessed in human history. The first object, 3i Atlas, isn't behaving like any comet we've ever seen. It's made of pure nickel metal without a trace of iron, something that's extremely rare in natural space objects. The second visitor, Comet Swan, just emerged from the sun's glare with a tail stretching five full moon diameters across our sky, following an extremely long orbital period that brings it back to our solar system only once every several thousand years. But here's what has astronomers losing sleep. These two objects are converging on nearly identical paths, both reaching their closest approach to the sun within days of each other in October 2025. One displays impossible metal compositions, while the other carries the massive energy signature of an ancient cosmic giant. The question isn't whether they'll meet, it's what happens when they do. Will these two mysterious visitors actually collide? The short answer is no, Swan and 3i Atlas won't physically crash into each other. But the reality is far more intriguing than a simple collision. These objects will pass within 31 million miles of each other, while both are hidden behind the sun creating what scientists call a gravitational dance that could alter their trajectories forever. The most dangerous scenario isn't impact damage. It's the extraordinary interaction between two completely different types of interstellar objects with anomalous properties. If you want to understand why this cosmic encounter represents the most significant space event of our lifetime, make sure you're subscribed because we're going to examine every detail of this extraordinary celestial meeting. Let me take you back to July 1st, 2025, when astronomers first spotted something that would challenge everything we thought we knew about comets. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, that's where Atlas gets its name, detected an object moving between Jupiter and Mars at impossible speeds. This wasn't just another space rock. 3i Atlas was traveling on what scientists call a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it's moving so fast that our sun's gravity can't capture it. It's a visitor from another star system, and it's only the third interstellar object we've ever detected. But here's where things get weird. Most comets are basically frozen chunks of ice and rock, mixtures of frozen water combined with dust and debris that formed at the edge of our solar system. When they get close to the sun, that ice starts to sublimate. That's when solid ice turns directly into gas without becoming liquid first. This process creates the bright, fuzzy coma around the comet and eventually forms the tail we see streaking across the sky. 3i Atlas breaks every rule in the comet playbook. First, it started getting bright when it was still way beyond Jupiter's orbit. That's like a snowball starting to melt in your freezer. Normal comets don't begin sublimating until they pass through Jupiter's orbit and start approaching the asteroid belt. But Atlas was already super bright and getting brighter every day when it was still on the far side of Jupiter. Then came the tail mystery. When NASA's most powerful telescopes focused on Atlas, they discovered something that shouldn't exist. A comet tail pointing toward the sun instead of away from it. Think about it like this. Imagine you're driving down the highway with your dog, and when Fido sticks his head out the window, instead of his ears blowing backward, they blow forward into the wind. That's essentially what 3i Atlas was doing, and it had scientists scratching their heads. The Hubble Space Telescope and James Webb Space Telescope revealed the most shocking discovery yet. The coma surrounding Atlas is made almost entirely of carbon dioxide, not water ice like every other comet we've studied. We're talking about a ratio of 8 parts CO2 to 1 part water, which means there's 16 times more carbon dioxide than what you'd expect in a normal comet. This massive CO2 cloud now stretches 186,000 miles in radius, that's almost half the size of our sun. But the real game changer came from the very large telescope in Chile. They detected pure nickel metal in Atlas's coma, but here's the kicker. No iron whatsoever. In the entire known universe, iron and nickel are natural partners. They're forged together in the hearts of dying stars and blasted into space by supernova explosions. Finding nickel without iron in a natural space object is like finding a car engine without any steel. It just doesn't happen in nature. So how did an object from another star system end up with this impossible composition? Now, while astronomers were puzzling over Atlas, something even more spectacular was brewing in the sun's glare. On September 11, 2025, Ukrainian amateur astronomer Vladimir Bazugli was analyzing images from the SWAN instrument aboard the SOHO spacecraft when he spotted something extraordinary. A new comet was emerging from the sun's vicinity, and it was massive. Comet SWAN, officially designated C2025R2, isn't just another space visitor. It's a returning giant with an orbital period measured in thousands of years. While the exact timeline is still being calculated by astronomers, Early estimates suggest this comet hasn't visited our inner solar system for many millennia. 
The last time an object like this passed through our neighborhood, human civilization looked completely different than it does today. What makes Swan truly remarkable is its incredible brightness and enormous tail. When Australian comet expert Michael Matiazzo captured the first detailed images, the tail stretched 2.5 degrees across the sky. That's five full moon diameters. For comparison, most comet tails are barely visible to the naked eye, but Swan's tail is so massive it dwarfs everything we've seen from recent comets. Here's where the story takes a dramatic turn. Both objects are following nearly identical paths toward the sun, with their closest approaches scheduled just days apart in late October 2025. Atlas will reach perihelion, its closest point to the sun, on October 29th at a distance of 126 million miles. Swan will make its approach around the same time, coming within 47 million miles of our star. During this critical period, both objects will be completely hidden behind the sun from Earth's perspective. Every telescope on our planet will be blind to what's happening in that 31 million mile gap between these two mysterious visitors. It's like having front row seats to the most important cosmic event in human history, but someone just turned off all the lights. The gravitational interaction between these objects could be extraordinary. Swan's massive size and long orbital period suggest it has tremendous gravitational influence. When it passes near Atlas, it could alter the trajectory of the smaller, faster-moving object. This isn't just academic speculation. We've seen similar effects when large comets pass near asteroids or other space objects. But there's something even more intriguing happening here. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and his team initially wondered if these objects might be connected. Perhaps Swan was a mothership that had released Atlas as a scout probe. However, detailed analysis revealed they're coming from completely different directions in space. Atlas emerged from the Sagittarius constellation near the center of our galaxy, while Swan approached from Aquarius. They're separated by tens of degrees in the sky, ruling out a direct connection. Yet the timing is impossible to ignore. After millennia of silence, we've had three anomalous interstellar objects in less than a decade. Umamua in 2017, Atlas now, and Swan arriving simultaneously. Some scientists believe this timing might be a response to humanity's radio signals, which have been expanding outward from Earth for over 70 years, potentially reaching advanced civilizations. And triggering this sequence of visitors, the most dangerous scenario isn't a physical collision. It's the unknown interaction between two objects with completely different origins and compositions. When these two objects pass within 31 million miles of each other, we'll witness the first recorded close encounter between an anomalous interstellar visitor and a massive long-period comet. The gravitational forces alone could create trajectory changes that send one or both objects on completely different paths through our solar system. Think of it like two massive trucks approaching each other on a cosmic highway. The unusual composition of Atlas makes it behave differently from normal comets, while Swan's enormous size and energy could influence anything that comes near it. When they reach their closest approach, we could witness the first interstellar natural hybrid interaction between space objects in recorded history. The European Space Agency is positioning both Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter to observe Atlas as it passes within 17.4 million miles of Mars in early October. These spacecrafts will use high-resolution cameras and color imaging systems to capture the best images we'll get of this mysterious object. While we won't see fine details, we should be able to distinguish between the gas clouds surrounding Atlas and whatever solid structure lies at its center. Meanwhile, Swan will be putting on a spectacular show for observers in the Southern Hemisphere. As it emerges from the sun's glare, its five-moon diameter tail will become increasingly visible to amateur astronomers with binoculars or small telescopes. The comet is expected to reach magnitude 5.8 around October 10th, making it potentially visible to the naked eye under dark skies. But here's what really keeps astronomers awake at night. Earth will cross Swan's orbital path on October 5th, just days before the two objects reach their closest approach to each other. If Swan has been shedding debris along its multi-thousand-year journey, we could experience a meteor shower unlike anything in recorded history. Particles from a comet this massive entering our atmosphere could create spectacular fireballs visible across multiple continents. The scientific implications of this encounter extend far beyond astronomy. If Atlas truly represents something fundamentally different from natural comets, its interaction with Swan could provide our first glimpse of how anomalous space objects behave in the extreme environment near our Sun. The pure nickel composition, impossible CO2 ratios, and anti-solar tail direction all point to properties we've never observed before. Swan's long orbital period raises equally profound questions. Ancient human civilizations might have witnessed this comet's previous visit, potentially inspiring the megalithic structures and astronomical alignments we see at sites like Giza and Stonehenge. 
The precision of ancient star maps and the sudden advancement of human civilization in ancient times could be connected to humanity's last encounter with this cosmic giant. As we approach this remarkable cosmic convergence, we're witnessing what could be the most significant astronomical event of our lifetime. Two interstellar visitors with impossible properties are about to perform a gravitational ballet around our sun that could reshape our understanding of the universe. Whether they represent natural phenomena pushing the boundaries of physics or something entirely beyond our current knowledge, their October encounter will provide answers to questions we're only beginning to ask. October 2025 will be remembered as the month everything changed. If this cosmic encounter has captured your imagination like it has the world's top astronomers, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We'll be tracking every development as these two mysterious visitors approach their historic rendezvous behind our sun. What do you think we're really observing here? Natural phenomena or something far more extraordinary? Share your thoughts in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video where we explore what happens when these objects emerge from behind the sun in December.